session we will be discussing nursery integration theory in the previous lecture we have discussed what is mental residue and how to calculate residues for singularities the residue integration theorem is used to evaluate integral f of z dz where you have more number more than one number of singularities inside your curve of integration and the theorem statement says that let f of z be analytic inside a simple closed path c and on c except for finitely singular points z1 z2 z3 z up to z k inside c then the integral of f of z taken counter clockwise direction around c is equal to 2 pi i times the sum of the residues of f of z at z1 z2 up to z k that is integral of f of z dz over the curve c is equal to 2 pi i times sum of the residues of the function at each singularities z1 z2 z3 up to z k now let's take a problem the question is evaluate the following integral counter clockwise around any simple closed path such that 0 and 1 are inside c 0 is inside 1 outside c part 1 is inside 0 outside and the last one 0 and 1 are outside for the integral 4 minus 3z divided by z square minus dz over the curve of integration now let's start before moving to the part a b c d we can find the result we can find the singularities for the function you can see that the singularities are z equal to 0 and z equal to 1 this we are getting by taking denominator z square minus z equal to 0 which implies z equal to 0 and z equal to 1 this is how we are getting the singularity now let's find residue of the function 4 minus 3z divided by z square minus z at z equal to 0 so you will get it as since they are simple poles you can see that p by q form the residues will be of the form p divided by derivative that is 2z minus 1 evaluated at z equal to 0 so you can take it of the form p by q and for simple poles residue is given by p by q dash evaluated at the respective singularity so you will get it as 4 by minus 1 that is equal to minus 4. now we can find the residue of the function at z equal to 1 and u for the function 4 minus 3z <coughs> by z square minus z and you will again get it 4 minus 3z divided by 2z minus 1 evaluated at the point z equal to 1 so you will get it as 4 minus 3 divided by 2 minus 1 and that is equal to 2. now let's take 
the first part. We have the singularity in 0 and 1. Both the points are inside the curve C. Hence, there is the integral will be equal to A part. Integral will be equal to 4 minus 3 z by z square minus z dz will be equal to 2 pi i times sum of the residues here minus 4 plus 1 and that is minus 3 and the answer will be minus 6 pi i. Now the second part we can see that for the second part 0 is inside and 1 is outside. So 0 is inside, 1 is outside, meaning you have to worry about the points z equal to 0 and you have to only consider residue at z equal to 0. So the integral value will be equal to two pi i times minus that is equal to minus 8 pi i. Now moving to c part. The c part is 1 is inside, 0 is outside. So you will get integral 4 minus 3 z divided by z square minus z dz is equal to 2 pi i times, you have to only consider the residue at z equal to 1. z equal to 0 is outside, so we are not considering the residue at z equal to 0. So 2 pi i times 1, you will get it as 2 pi i. Now the fourth part says that 0 and 1 are outside. What happens if 0 and 1 are outside? So 0 and 1 are outside, meaning there is no singularity inside the curve, hence integral 4 minus 3 z divided by z square minus z dz is equal to 0 by Cauchy's integral theorem. By Cauchy's integral theorem, this is equal to 0 because there are no singularities inside your curves. Thank you.